Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be talking about The Rings of Power Season 2. Um, it's continuing ahead with its production, but it's not going to have its writers on board because they're currently on strike. So let's jump into this fandom wire article here and see what it has to say. So quote, might have a chance of becoming half decent. <laughs> so that's a bit of a dig at the first season of Rings of Power. Uh, a lot of people think that it wasn't written very well. So they're having a dig in saying that the season two could be better now that the writers aren't there. Um, which is, you know, which is harsh, which is harsh words, fighting words. Uh, the Rings of Power gets blasted for filming season two without writers. Um, Amazon Prime's ambitious show is the latest major production to proceed. Amidst the la labor dispute, despite the ongoing WGA strike, that's the Writers Guild of America, uh, production on the highly anticipated television series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, is forging ahead, albeit without the expertise of executive producers J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. So what do you guys think about this? Their production is still going ahead, even though they don't, they don't have their writers currently there. The writers are obviously on strike. Is it going to be detrimental to the show to not have the writers there? Or like the quote said at the top of this article, guys, do you think it's going to work out better because the writers weren't very good in the first season? Yeah, let me know what you think about that, guys. But The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is a TV series based on J.R.R. Tolkien's epic fantasy novels. Produced by Amazon Prime Video, the show is set in Middle-earth. It promises to delve deeper into the history and mythology of the iconic realm, uh, revealing untold stories and new characters. So we have a Twitter post here from Variety. The Lord of the Rings... The Ri Ooh, I'm opening Twitter, didn't mean to do that. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power will move forward with production without the services of executive producers J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. Uh, and then obviously... Uh, Rings of Power to finish filming season two a mid writer strike without showrunners on set. Uh, producers take the show must go on approach. I'm assuming that they don't want to halt production because of the expenses that are involved in hunt like halting the production. Everybody leaving the set and then everybody having to come back to the set after the strike is finished. The production budget would just would just balloon and this. Amazon series, the production budget is already insane. It's the most expensive show ever made. Just paying for the rights for the um, for the Lord of the Rings IP was just ridiculous in itself. And then you've got all the price of, you know, making the show, marketing the show, and all of this kind of stuff as well, guys. So it's probably the fact that they don't want to balloon the budget any more than they already have to. Um, yeah, producers take the show must go on approach. According to Variety, the grandiose uh, fantasy series still has 19 days of filming left. Still, due to the WGA strike, that's the Writers Guild of America, executive producers J.D. Payne, Patrick McKay, and other writer producers cannot engage in any writing-related activities during the production while the strike persists. So yeah, they're currently on strike, um, you know, and they're going to be on strike until their negotiations are met, obviously. We don't know how long the strike's going to go on for, that's the thing. I think there was a strike back in 2007 or 2008 to do with the Writers Guild as well. I think that one went on for about three months or so until they had negotiations and it was settled. Not sure if this one would be a similar length in time or not. But continuing the show without the writers, is it risky? Is it a smart move? Not really sure. Until the show comes out and we see the quality of it, it's hard to judge. But this includes being involved in any creative decision-making process on set. Fans were clearly not happy to learn about the new development. So we've got some tweets here from some people um, regarding, obviously, what's going on with uh, Rings of Power. Um, Let Haley be Haley says, I do not think they were adding anything good. Let's be real. Keep opening Twitter. Sorry about that. I do not think they were adding anything good. Let's be real. So, yeah, that's basically a comment towards the writer saying they probably weren't adding anything good anyway. She obviously didn't like the first season of, of Rings of Power. For myself, I thought the first season of Rings of Power was interesting. They had some good concepts in there. Ultimately, Galadriel um, wasn't a very likable character, I don't think. But going from week to week trying to guess who Sauron was, that's what kept me interested in the show. And I admit, that's what kept me there watching it. And I did sign up to Amazon specifically to watch the Lord of the Rings show. Yeah, uh, trying to guess who Sauron was, that, that was kind of fun. Galadriel, she was kind of like moody and she didn't come across as the same character that we saw in the trilogy movies. Obviously, I know she's a bit of a different character. She's in a different age here as well. But um, yeah, ultimately, I, I thought the show was good. It had good CGI. Some of the characters were fun. Um, but yeah, let's continue on anyway. So what do other people have to say? Uh, Variety. Uh, so Thor Odinson responds to the Variety Twitter, who says, 
but without the services of executive producers JD Payne and Patrick McKay. So it might actually have a chance of being good. <laughs> yeah, people people just keep saying that now that the writers aren't there, is actually a good thing for the show and it's going to turn out better. <laughs> kind of like, kind of harsh words. Uh, oh God, this is going to end up being, being funnier. So this person sp from Spy, this response here, is, oh God, this is going to end up being funnier. So I'm assuming that they think that season two is going to be a disaster anyway, and then adding this writer's strike on top is just going to make the whole thing even worse. But I can see why Amazon are going forward. Like this show is so expensive and acquiring the rights to it, you have to continue the production. Halting the production is probably just not, it's probably just not a thing that they can do uh, due to expenses. Uh, this generally makes me upset and worried for the final product of season two. They aren't going to lose anything by waiting. Yeah, but this is the thing. A lot of fans, they don't take into account, you know, the business side of making movies. It's not a case of when you start a production that's this expensive and this big and has so many moving pieces to stop and halt the production with like three weeks left to go. And then just to get everybody, all the cast and crew and all the props and everything off and then take, take that all off set and then to bring it all back after the writer's strike. It's probably just not an option like in terms of money but a lot of fans don't think of the business side of of you know of, of hollywood so um instead of the show's non-writing executive producers uh non-writing executive producers such as lindsey weber and directors charlotte brandstorm and sana Ham hamry i think i'm i hope i'm saying that right and louise hooper survives the uk based shoot the crew is also playing an essential role in overseeing production a source has revealed the Rings of Power production has involved several units, including night shoots, throughout the season, reflecting the ambitious cinematic scale of the show. Sorry, guys, a bit chesty. Executive producers J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay has also meticulously collaborated with the production team before to ensure that their possible absence due to the ongoing writer's strike would have minimal impact on the show's quality. Yeah, so that's great. Obviously, they, they knew that this strike was coming up ahead of time, They've sat down with all the producers, the writers, and they've said, okay, we're not going to be here because of the strike. And then they've obviously like left them notes, left them, you know, like left them a whole load of show notes and said, we're not going to be here. So do this, this, and this, and try to have minimal impact on the production going forward. And that's a smart thing to do, you know, and, and an industry wide shutdown in the offing. The ongoing writer strike is already putting immense pressure on the current film and television productions. The situation is further complicated by the upcoming June 30th contract deadline for SAG, um, AFTRA and DGA. Uh, failure to reach a new agreement between these guilds and the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers could result in actors and directors joining the writer's strike. This could potentially trigger a drastic industry-wide shutdown. Oh yeah, guys. So you're going to lose out on your writers and, now, and then you're going to lose out on your producers and your actors and everything as well. That's just going to be catastrophic and budgets are just going to balloon for all productions that are in mid-production you know so hopefully before that happens they can finish uh filming this show um production on the rings of power relocated from new zealand to the uk for its eight episode uh second season which commenced filming on october 3rd 2022 the series boasts a lineup of top-notch executive producers such as callum green justin dobble uh jason cahill uh jennifer hutchison Charlotte Brandstrom is a co-executive producer. Kate Hazel, uh, Helen Shang are producers. And Andrew Lee, Matthew Penry Davy, and Claire Buxton are co-producers. I really do apologize if I mispronounce any of those names. As I've said in my previous videos, I'm really not good at pronouncing like actors and actors' names. And you know, like I'm really not good at that. So I apologize if I mispronounce any of that. Uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power caused a stir in the entertainment industry when it was released last year. However, a recent report hinted that a significant portion of its initial audience disengaged from the series and failed to watch the episodes. It remains to be seen if the trend will continue with the second season. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is available for streaming on Amazon Prime Video. So yeah, I heard that, I think it was like one third of the audience didn't make it to the end of the show of the first season of Rings of Power. But according to Amazon, it was a smash hit and they did really, really well, but I don't I'm not sure because yeah, there were reports coming out. They're saying that like one, I think it was one third of every, you know, one third of the audience didn't make it to the end. I almost didn't make it to the end. I have to admit it got to a point where I was like, this is, you know, the character, yeah, ultimately the main character isn't very likable, you know, 
and they're kind of messing around with the Sauron character. Like, who is he? Who isn't he? Can you just tell it? Like, can you just kind of just show us who it is? But ultimately, I stuck with it. I thought it was quite enjoyable. I am looking forward to season two. I'm hoping that they can fix the negatives from the first one and they can make it better because Lord of the Rings is an IP that deserves, you know, it deserves at least like three seasons, in my opinion, to try and make it as good as it can be. You can't just give up after one or two seasons with Lord of the Rings because it's... And they, they teased the Balrog, obviously, at the end of... Um, at the end of season one. So I'd be interested to see the Balrog turn up in season two. Everybody loves a good Balrog in Lord of the Rings. But yeah, let me know what you think about this, guys. So the writers not being not being in the production anymore due to the strike. Do you think it's going to have a detrimental effect? Do you think it's going to make the show better because the writers aren't there? I'd love to know what you think. Jump into the comment section and I'll see you soon.